Hey guys, I am CJ Strada and welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know me, I am a vlogger, a blogger, an Instagrammer, or, or shall we say a content creator and I post travel videos, travel photos, and travel tips in my social media channels. So last year, I posted a video in my YouTube channel that shows my daily life as a software engineer and what I do when I'm not traveling. So I got a lot of comments and good engagement of that video and I'm so thankful for supporting that video. I got a lot of requests from you guys to give some tips on how to become a software engineer. I am a software engineer for more than four years now and uh, I am in a company that supports and uh, you know, uh, and gives me opportunities to travel around the globe. What the f was that? New. <coughs> Actually, I am here in the USA for business travel that's related to my work. With that being said, all the benefits, all the opportunities, and everything that you get from your job as a software engineer. Uh, excuse me, I just had a Pepsi. Not sponsored. Again, with that all being said, being a software engineer, you get a lot of opportunities, you get a lot of benefits, you get, you know, you can do a lot of things, especially because most of the, most of the software engineering jobs, mostly the, uh, the, the schedule is flexible as long as you provide the output that's expected. So yeah, with that, with that all, of, all of the benefits that you can get as a software engineer, always comes with a price so this as they say great power comes with bigger responsibilities and <laughs> well, i don't know if that's even related at all but something like that so i'm making this video for you guys especially those who's, who's aspiring to become a software engineer and uh who's beginning on their software engineer job Take note, I am no expert because I'm still on my fourth year on this job and uh, my experience is not that uh, wide. I haven't gone to different companies, you know. If you guys are ready to become a software engineer, please stay tuned. And before that, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share peace and love. My first tip to you guys is for you to know how to write and read code even though even for just one language in my case i graduated with only one language at hand which is c sharp and i use that my skill write and read code that i learned from college helped me to get a job as a software engineer and uh, as long as you know how to apply also uh, your code and of course the object-oriented programming where you get to apply different types of principles did I, did I even say that correctly you know if you know how to apply encapsulation you know uh, abstraction polymorphism you know how to override the, a function you know how to deal with objects and properties and, uh, and functions did I say it again so you'll get a job yeah <laughs> tip number two be open to new learnings especially with technology technology grows fast so if you're if you're studying a technology which is uh you know which is being used and uh you know trendy shall we say trendy this year that might not be the case on next year or succeeding years so learn to adapt learn to uh, uh, learn to be open to learn something new but it always depends on your path as as a software engineer because at a starting point you can be a developer and then after that you can be a scrum master if you want you know if you want to manage and you don't want to do some code stuff you can you can do you can be a scrum master where you get to manage a project in the agile method in, a, in an 
AF in the Agile methodology world. I mean, in the Agile, you can be a Scrum Master in the Agile world, you can be a product owner, you can be a business analyst, you can be a tester. So, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you'll be a developer f for your entire life, a software engineer, but it always depends on you. But the most important thing is you have to be open to you have to be open to new stuff and learn how to adapt on the new of the changes of technology. Third tip is to have an ownership. What what do I mean by ownership? So if you will get a job as a software engineer and you'll be given a project, you have to own the project as if it's yours. Even though you're just working and you know, I get scolded sometimes because I can't finish a damn thing <laughs> and I can't finish what needs to be done, so I just work here. But if you take it as if it's your own thing, it's like it's like if you have your own phone and because it's it's your thing, you take care of it. That's the same thing. If, if you take care of your project, it's gonna take care of your job and you'll get rewarded from your colleagues and from your leadership. And, and if you have this kind of attitude, if you have the ownership of your project, of your job, you will have the attitude to learn fast and you'll have the, you know, the optimistic attitude to learn and adapt of the project especially if you're still new because I would not expect that as a new hire you would be developing from scratch there would mostly be a project already that's already been developed and you'll be joining in in the middle of that so you have to cope up what that project is the architecture the language how it works and everything and what so and what so on what so on so if you have that attitude, you'll have the best outlook on your software engineering life. And fourth is, uh, don't be afraid to get scolded or to fail. So as they say, fail fast and learn fast. Mistakes are the best teachers in life. It doesn't only apply to software engineering jobs, but also to your you know, real life. Just for example, if I fail to, you know, to wake up because I forgot to set an alarm in the morning and, and I was late to work and I got stuck in traffic and all of the negative stuff came to that day, excuse me again, I learned the hard way. So the next time before I go to bed, I made sure that I set an alarm so that I could wake up in the morning early on time. Same thing for software engineering jobs. So, if you fail to fix a problem, if you fail to fix a bug, and you know you are already tired of the schedule and you don't know what to do, don't be afraid to get scolded. Don't get afraid to ask for help because you'll learn something out from it. That's the most important thing. Uh, you need to learn something from every day. But, be careful not to commit, I mean, be but be careful not to omit the same mistakes over and over again because that's something else and you'll get, you know, you, your performance as an employee will get affected. But as a newbie software engineer, I mean, I mean as a newbie, be, be open to failures and learn from that mistakes. All right, so I think that's the four basic tips that I can give as a software engineer to you guys, especially for those who are aspiring to become a software engineer and you know who's still starting up their career as a software engineer. If you guys want me to make more videos about software engineering, please comment down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this video and hope to see you again in the next videos. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share peace and love. Bye-bye.